Study Engineers. Uh, for the past 34 years, Mr. Tambali has designed and managed various building projects throughout the world, U.S., Europe, Asia, and Middle East. Uh, he's also the author of two books on structural steel design, and today he'll be presenting Tall Building Sustainable Design Opportunities. So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, hopefully this thing works now. Um, what we're going to look at is sustainability and how as a structural engineers we can use it. And I think it, it's a very important topic because more and more tall buildings are coming in and they use a lot of material. So I think this is a very timely topic and then we can definitely utilize the uh, whatever the knowledge, technology uh, is evolving as well as whatever is available can effectively do. Uh, what we have done is we have utilized the three examples of the major tall building. Uh, one is Taipei 101, Petronas Tower, and one in New York, Random House Headquarters. And shown how we were able to use the sustainability structural concepts in these three buildings. What is sustainability? Uh, as far as the previous building council, building council defines sustainability in either environmental benefits, economic benefits, and health and community benefits. And if you can achieve all three, that's you get the best rating, you achieve some of them, you get silver, gold, and obviously our highest is platinum. What we have done is seen here the structural design, how we can relate this to structural design. One is conservation of natural resources. Second is improvement of occupants' health and comfort. And third is the reduction in maintenance of and the project life cycle cost, increase in energy savings, and decline in solid waste. So these are the different objectives and how we can achieve them uh, in the design. Uh, sometimes you cannot achieve all of them, but at least uh, you can uh, achieve as many as you can. If that's definitely helpful. The first project we're going to look at is Type 101. Uh, this is currently the tallest building, obviously, Burge is the tallest in under construction. Um, Type 101 has like a five meter thick mat as a foundation, has a 21.5 meter deep basement. Lower part was 25 story truncated pyramid. Upper. There were eight models of eight-story flare. I think the opening flower is the architectural concept there uh, was used. Uh, the structure was it had a rigor system, steel frame, and the observation deck at the top and the spire. Uh, you can look at the this is the typical framing of the uh, what we were able to do was with such a massive foundation and we were able to use the fly ash for the concrete mat and reduce the use of uh, cement as well as the uh, west from the coal was utilized uh, for the uh, structural material. For the floors, Recycled steel was specified, so it was definitely you don't have to use the natural resources to recreate the steel. There was an issue came in during the design when the building was tested in wind tunnel at RWDI. Uh, the building under typhoon conditions. 
conditions across uh, swaying quite a bit as well as uh, creating the vortex setting which is really not very good for the occupant comfort. So several studies were made and finally the solution uh, structurally as well as architecturally came up with sawtooth corners and which definitely helped tremendously to uh, reduce the Way and the active, increase the occupant comfort. The other aspect was this is also a high seismic area and there is a need for damping and also under the typhoon condition need for reducing the sway of the building. Uh, there are two solutions to this problem. One is increase the stiffness and strength of the building and another is obviously increase the damping. And the damping increase with uh, tune mass damper here which is used is much more economical than just increasing the stiffness or uh, throwing the material at this problem. So I think this was a very useful and uh, health and comfort benefit for the project. So we'll look at the next project which is the Petronas Twin Towers. This happens to be current tallest team building. Uh, until they will be two buildings and connected uh, and taller than this will stay for a while. Uh, this has the also is a very massive concrete building, uh, has a 4.5 meter thick mat foundation, has the 22 layers of the reinforcing in the mat, which is recycled steel, uh, concrete floors, uh, perimeter is a soft tube framing. And the 265 meter long pinnacle for the top of the building. Uh, this is the foundation plan, uh, which was had a 17,000 cubic yards of ply uh, concrete uh, mat foundation for each tower. Uh, and the reinforced steel, uh, recycled steel in the mat reinforced body. What you see these square things are they call barracks. Uh, this is a type of foundation which was unique. Uh, these are very large file foundation and you can visualize that. And that, that was uh, unique to this uh, concept. Now uh, this is a picture of the foundation. Uh, you can see almost two story high uh, mat uh, which supports for the reinforcing sticking up there. Uh, this is the tower floor, this is, shows up the core and perimeter soft tube with the steel in between which is uh, meant for allowing the changes in the office floors because otherwise it would be uh, difficult to change if it was concrete. Uh, fly, obviously the ply is concrete was in big columns along the perimeter was used and frame for the recycle steel. At the top of the building, pinnacle, which is purposely stainless steel was used to reduce the maintenance as well as it was combined as a structural framing. Uh, so the economic benefits were achieved there. Uh, the other item was co connecting these two buildings together, which uh, had a bridge, which obviously became a iconic uh, for the uh, structure as well as the building and the, uh, it had a stainless steel uh, cladding as well as the economic benefit was obviously they, they don't, people don't have to go down and go up in the other building there's a reduction in the elevated costs and so forth. The third building is in New York City which is a uh, recent building, a random house tower had the two separate buildings, mixed use, lower part is office and upper part is the uh, residential building. Uh, totally different occupancy and what happens is the transfer floor, uh, the upper building is totally designed without regards to the lower building. No, nothing goes through and nothing matches. So, so 
So then that's why you see the forest of steel here to take care of that and transfer loading. Uh, all of this steel obviously was recycled. Uh, this is the building under construction. Yeah, you can see it's a different. The unique feature of this building was not the recycled materials, but uh, we used the tune liquid column damper. This was the first use of the uh, this type of dampers in the United <coughs> States. Uh, all it is is a two U-shaped water tanks, and the way they are designed is uh, one tank contains 290, 290 tons of water, other is 430 tons, and they are designed such that their frequency of the water when they oscillates uh, it uh, matches the building frequency. But however, if the uh, water goes in another direction and it has a stabilizing effect, uh, as well as it also uh, kind of dissipates the energy going through the lower side. I will show the actual drawing how this was achieved. Uh, this is the uh, picture of the tank, how it looks. And this is the actual testing of the tank when it was totally uh, built and commissioned before the uh, building was occupied. And actually you can test the frequency, whether it matches the building frequency and the way to do it uh, is you have to really create the wave of very low, obviously, uh, velocity and the, uh, you can actually check it and adjust the water height so that it does match building frequency. And it, the, they have uh, what you call water pressure was created by the vacuum and That's a big advantage of this system that you can have different uh, frequencies of control in each direction. Uh, the other system, mechanical system you saw in Taipei, uh, doesn't have that flexibility. And this is the study uh, how much percent of acceleration can be reduced, and uh, it was found that about 40% can be achieved. And it, it, it is tremendous uh, reduction in acceleration. Uh, uh, people who have to deal, deal with uh, increasing the stiffness to bring the acceleration down, we appreciate this, uh, how much saving can be. This is the owner as well as the uh, meeting the requirement of the comfort of the people. It uh, reduces building acceleration. Water tank can be used for fire hiding. Purpose. Obviously, this is a secondary benefit. Uh, also, as the building gets older, particularly concrete building gets older, it becomes less stiff. So, you can really, uh, it's very helpful to control the uh, water level and increase the effectiveness of the uh, damping. sustainability and uh, obviously the uh, professor Dr. Werner uh, pointed out all this skin technology using the solar skin and as well as all types of materials. Uh, I think that's the future trend and uh, it definitely uh, will happen. 